Okay, uh, minasang, konnichiwa, Zamora Indianadesh. So in this uh, live stream uh, video lecture segment, we will talk about the uh, surface courses for highway and road networks. But uh, before that, I would like to ask uh, somebody to confirm our uh, clarity of sound. So sound check, please. Okay, uh, shout out Joshua. So, according to Joshua, clear po ang sound set. Okay, so let us proceed now. Uh, we have uh, on your screen a, uh, again a diagram of a uh, pavement. Okay, so <clears throat> what are uh, in the diagram? We have what? Different layers. So we have the unbound sub base. So that is the layer B sub base. So below the sub base, that is sub grade. So the very, very uh, thin layer that is sub grade, and then unbound sub base. Then we have bound base, okay? Unbound base. So unbound meaning there is no paste, okay? There is no presence of paste or cement or limes. There is no presence of lime or cement. So that is meaning unbound sub-base. So the next layer is unbound or granular base. Okay? And then the next is asphalt concrete layer. Next is asphalt concrete layer, different uh, recipe, different mixture. Okay? And then the last is another asphalt concrete layer. So, also, even if uh, they have the same, even if they have the same uh, uh, recipe, these three layers of asphalt concrete layer, they are being done per layer basis. So the process is being done per layer. So this is supposed to be 150 mm or 200 mm. Either one of those. Okay. And next, I would like to show you another uh, diagram. Okay. <clears throat> this is another diagram. You are looking at the uh, diagram here. So. This is how it would look like in real, real life, no? So there are different layers there, okay? So as you can see, <coughs> at the middle layer, the middle one, or the, 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 uh, what, the uh, lowest layer here is what we call subgrade, then next one is the uh, sub base, then next one is the base layer. Okay. and so on the same as we we uh, discussed but on the upper side we have what super paved okay. we have paved and super paved so pavers, layer, pavers, layers ok so those are the type of uh, layers using different standard different code so we are using DPWH code, okay, DPWH Blue Book as the standard. They are using, this one is using, uh, what? This one is using AASTO, AASTO standard. And uh, previous to that the, uh, picture, it is uh, the European or the uh, United Kingdom standard, okay? But anyway, let us proceed with our uh, discussion. Okay, if you have a question, you can uh, use our chat box below. So let us discuss the next part, that is part E, about surface courses. Okay? 
So item uh, 300, aggregate surface course. This uh, means number one, sieve number 10. So another misspelled word. This do not have R. So this is only sieve. Right? Sieve number 10. That is 2.00 mm sieve. Okay? It's the separator between cores and uh, fine aggregate. This is cores aggregate and fine aggregate. Another misspelled word. So there are seven errors. So number two, mass percent of uh, weir shall not be more than 45 okay? percent. 45%. So, number three, if crust aggregate gravel is used, not less than 50% of the particles retained on the on the sieve number. Okay? Uh, number four, okay? 75 mm sieve and shall have and shall have at least one Structured phase and is applicable for all items on surface course. Take note, one fractured phase is allowable, but not more than that. Okay. And number five, the fraction passing the uh, 0.425 or number 40 ship shall have the liquid limit not more than 35%. PI, 4 to 9%. Soak. CBR value CBR value is California bearing uh, test okay so value not less than 80% so those are the description around the surface course what about item 301 so let us compare so item uh, 301 that is for bituminous prime coat okay this is the part that uh, you have to put over the surface course, the first layer of surface course. Number one, liquid bituminous material shall be sprayed by means of pressure distributor of not less than 1,000 liters capacity and shall be heated at 180 degrees Celsius with 2 degrees Celsius per hour loss of temperature after heating. So take note of that. So, the uh, ambient temperature is about 30. So, 180 minus 30, that is uh, 150. So, 150 divided by 2, that is 75. Okay? So, 75 hours is the what? Is the curing time. Okay? So, that is 75 hours. So, 75 hours divided by 24, that is what uh, more than three days so that is three and a half days okay that is three days and three hours okay okay so we can say it is four days okay. number two the distributor shall be able to vary the spray width of the liquid in maximum steps of 100 mm to a total width of four meter shall leave undisturbed for 24 hours okay so the requirement is undisturbed for 24 hours, meaning do not let anyone step over it within one day. Okay? <clears throat> you can step over it after 24 hours. So that is what we mean by disturb. Okay? So, but the curing period is uh, four days. Okay? So 302 item bituminous tap coat. Tap coat, this is a correct, this is a correct uh, spelling, tap coat, okay? Bituminous tap coat. All aggregates uh, use, or aggregate use, another misspelled word, no? Aggregate used for, all aggregates used for bituminous and PCCP, okay? What do you mean by PCCP? Portland cement, okay? All aggregate used for bituminous and Portland cement items shall have a mass percent of not exceeding 40%. Okay? 40%. So what about item 303? 
It has uh, talk about item 303. <coughs> Bituminous uh, seal coat. Okay. So, sealing of the layer. That is for what? Water. Water control. Controlling the water. Okay. Number one, uh, cover uh, aggregate shall be applied at the rate approximately 0 0.004 to 0 0.007 cubic meters per square meter. Okay. And finally, rolled by a power ruler weighing 4 to 6 tons to a uniform surface. Okay. That is the process uh, of sealing coat. Okay. Cover the aggregate, applied uh, with the uh, what? A speed of 0 0.004 to 0 0.007 cubic meters per square meter <clears throat> and uh, rolled by the power of ruler with weight 4 to 6 tons. Okay? So that is <clears throat> number one. And number two, if crust slug is used, it shall be of uniform density of not less than 960. Okay? So, crust density. So, that is used for roads. We have to... Uh, hmm? <coughs> I have to uh, memorize this one for myself. <coughs> So, if crust slug is used, okay, it shall be uniform density of not less than 960 kilogram per cubic meter, okay, not only for silk coat, but as well as for other items with bituminous material, except for item 305, which is macadam pavement, and item 309, which is plant mix stockpile, item 311. Uh, Portland cement with crust slug density not less than 1,120 kilograms per cubic meters. Okay. Uh, number three, rate of application, quantities of materials. Okay, so I did not transition. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so rate of uh, application, quantities of material for silk coat. This is the table. Type 1, type 2, and type 3. For bituminous material and for cover aggregate. So there are uh, several quantities for different material. Okay? Different types also. So there is no type 1 for cover aggregate. <coughs> okay, what's next is uh, item 304, bituminous surface treatment. We have the table here with item number 301, 302, 303. Compare uh, them with the uh, description. So 301 is about preparing and treating an aggregate base course. 302, bituminous stock coat. That is consisting of preparing and treating an existing or cement concrete. That is bituminous taco, cement concrete or bituminous. Okay. Uh, item 303, bituminous silk coat, that is application of bituminous material with or without aggregate on existing surface course. Okay. Rate of application, they are comparable to each other. 301, 1 is to 2 liters per square meter. Okay. For uh, 302, 0.2 to 0.7 liters per square meter. So point, uh, for item 303, 0.9 to 1.8 liters per square meter. For asphalt cement, and 1.5 to 3 liters per square meter for cutback asphalt. So there are two types of <coughs> asphalt. So asphalt cement and cutback asphalt. Right here. So material requirements. Rapid curing or RC. Medium curing cutback asphalt. That is the material. For uh, 302, rapid curing, cutback asphalt, and demulsified asphalt. 
And number uh, item 303, asphalt cement, penetration, grade uh, 85100, and rapid curing cutback asphalt. Okay? So just familiarize yourself with this. These are the real thing. Okay? So key points for this. What are the takeouts? So number one, there are two types of treatment on this item. A, single surface treatment, and double surface treatment. For single application of bituminous material, followed by a single spreading of aggregate, that is, single surface treatment. For double treatment, that is, two application of bituminous material, followed by spreading of aggregate. So, two times. Okay? For different types of treatment. So, number two. Contractors, are, uh, contractors shall provide weighing equipment on site to control the application of upgrades and shall be protected by a weatherproof house with a floor of not less than 10 square meters. 10 square meters, imagine that is the size of a parking space for a car. Okay? Or uh, about that large, about that big. Okay? Number three, application of temperature for asphalt cement shall be within the range that produces a viscosity of 10 to 60 seconds. Sable Purol. Sable Purol is the unit of measure okay, for viscosity. Okay. And number four, traffic shall be prohibited from traveling at speeds more than 40 kph until the asphaltic material has set so only what slower speed so that is after one day so 24 hours we can have slow speed of, of uh, cars or after four days we can have the what uh, normal uh, traffic okay so for uh, item 304, slurry system. Slurry system for road surface treatment. Prior to application, any cracks on the surface were wider. The crack is wider than 0.64 centimeter. So that means 6 mm, more than 6 mm, shall be treated. So that is one port inches. Okay, six six point four mm is equal to uh, one port mm. Okay, uh, one port inches. Okay, so wider than one port uh, inches shall be treated, and after the application, rolling shall be by self propel 10 tons pneumatic tire ruler okay so usually 6 tons 4 to 6 tons but now it is required 10 tons because it is what repair of surface crack okay wider than 1.4 inches or 0.64 centimeter or 6.4 mm number 2 application rates for slurry seal or uh, micro surfacing uh, we have a tabulated uh, values, agreed type, 1, 2, and 3. Location, parking areas, urban residential street for type 1. Type 2, urban residential street and airport runways. And airport runways for type 1. And type 3, primary interstate routes. So, meaning, uh, we have different uh, types depending upon the description. Application rate of slow seal that is 4 to 0.3 to 6.5 for type 1 kilograms per square meter for type 2 5.4 to 9.8 kilograms per square meter for type 3 8.1 to 12 kilograms per square meter. And then number 3, weather and limitations shall not be used if temperature is below 10 degrees Celsius. That is not applicable in our country. Number four, uh, I don't know why uh, it is being uh, 
uh, used by DPWH, it is impossible in our country. 10 degrees Celsius. Even in Baguio, this is about more than 10. 10 okay? Weather limitation. Ah, maybe in Baguio, sometimes less than 10 degrees Celsius. Okay? Maybe in Baguio or in Tagaytay City. Okay? Or in uh, what? Antipolo. Okay? So, number four, mineral uh, fillers shall be 0 to 3. Mineral pillar should be 0 to 3% based on dry weight aggregate. Okay? <clears throat> Next, uh, item is item 3.5. 305. Bituminous uh, penetration, makadam pavement. So another type of material is makadam, or type of pavement. When crushed gravel is uh, subjected to five cycles of sodium sulfate. Soundness test. The weighted loss shall not exceed 12%. Soundness test. Weighted loss. Okay, this is uh, for bituminous penetration. Makadam pavement. Okay. And number two, the variation of surface from testing edge or the straight edge between any two contact shall no point exceed 10 mm for this item. Okay. So less than 10 mm or 10 mm or below. Magadam uh, pavement and shall not exceed 6 mm for item 307 plant mix surface course for its uh, tolerance, okay? Give me 10 seconds. Okay, uh, for item uh, 306, we have uh, proportion of bituminous is material based on total dry aggregates. A, could be cut back asphalt, B, emulsified asphalt. So these are the two types of asphalt. Cut back asphalt and emulsified asphalt. With different, uh, what, mass percentage of rate of application. Okay, 4.5 to 7 mass percent and 6 to 10 percent mass percent for uh, letter B. Okay? Road mix surface course. Okay. Number two, distribution shall be controlled rate from 0.2 to 10 liters per square meter with the uniform pressure and allowable variation rate not exceeding 0.1 liter per square meter while the roller should not be less than 8 tons. The same for item 313, rock asphalt, hot clay. Okay. Let's uh, uh, do it up to this point. Okay, so we are through up to uh, item 306. So there are plenty of items uh, for uh, chapter 3. So let us stop when item 305. There are plenty of pages still, no? Before uh, part F for bridge construction. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, eleven pages still. So, we cannot do it today. So, therefore, we can do it if uh, we have the next meeting. So either we have a next meeting or either we have a final exam or a quiz or a long exam. Okay? Any question? <clears throat> Do you have any question? So we stop at 306 rather. So 306. <clears throat> any question? So if there's no question. So, good uh, evening, good luck to your uh, 
exams. Again, this is your professor, Dr. E.P., Preaching Engineering for Nation, indeed.